can't quite believe what this thing does. You know how some of you losers are pretty terrible at DIY? I mean, I don't have that problem, obviously. So stressful. Stop dropping that, you prick! Well, this is a smart lock for your door that involves no drilling, or cutting, or vicious hate-filled screaming whatsoever. It takes literally two minutes to install, and if you don't want to use this thing as a smart lock, it makes for a pretty awesome lightsaber. Lord Vader, he is using trademark terms of the Walt Disney Corporation again! Deal with it immediately! <laughs> Did you just- I didn't mean to blow- Lord Vader, I meant call my lawyer! Thanks to Wheelock for sponsoring today's video and for sending me this absolutely incredible lock. This elaborately named SECBR is a replacement for your lock cylinder that can be opened using up to 10 different fingerprints, NFC cards, an app on your phone, and if you buy their extra hub, it can also be unlocked using Google Home and Amazon Alexa too. Any concerns I had of a burglar being able to snap this lock were quickly abated when I found this video of this chap having his best day at the office ever. Look at his face! <laughs> look at it! He's so happy! Yeah, a yeah, little look at the camera. Best day at the office ever. And then his boss is like... Okay, la, okay, la, okay, la, okay, la, okay, la. I think okay lao is Chinese for please stop that. This desperation to prove that it won't break is on a par with the desperation of the man I saw walking his dog yesterday in which he felt like he needed to prove to me so badly that he was going to pick up his dog's poop that he was practically under his dog going, Come on, Bessie, sh** directly into my hands, there's a man watching! Taking this joke a bit too far. <laughs> it's a pretty convincing test. I mean, you're not the guy with his dog sh**ing in his hands. I mean, the guy in the factory smashing this thing with a hammer. I don't know what they made it out of, but I think Wolverine wants his bones back. Ooh, it's pretty packaging, look at that. You know like when a product just excites you? Oh yeah! It's not that, <laughs> it's just not that. Oh, I like uh, also how the postman has destroyed this again. I'm, I, ooh, cause, ooh. In the box are three key cards, a little toolkit, and a smart lock. Most impressive is that it can be extended on both sides to fit practically any lock, but rather ingeniously, it cannot be pulled off from the outside. Oh yeah! Nothing sexual about being pulled off. Smut! The door thickness can be anything from 55 to 155 millimeters, thanks to the extendable bar, and the installation process is as simple as removing your retaining screw and pulling out your existing cylinder, inserting the new cylinder, finding the right place for it to turn your lock, tightening the outside handle to the bolt, securing the inside handle, and then putting batteries in the thing. Once you've replaced the retaining screw, that's it. Three AAA batteries will last an entire year. And I've used Amazon batteries, because Amazon chairman Jeff Bezos does not have enough yachts. Not enough yachts. The batteries are kept in the outer handle, which is probably quite sensible because it means that if you have not noticed the warning in the app telling you that you have run out of battery, you will be able to go to the shop, get some batteries, replace the batteries and let yourself into your house. It's not quite so sensible if a child happens to be passing by with an Allen key that they could steal your batteries. You little sh**. There are parents watching. The little darlings. If a little darling happened to do this, I would kill them dead. And I think I'm legally entitled to, I'm pretty sure that's the way the law works. But to be clear, it's not very likely a child is gonna be wandering around with an Allen key. And if a burglar opened this up and took the batteries out, the lock doesn't automatically unlock or anything. It remains exactly as it is. Once your install is complete, stand back and admire your handiwork. No! <laughs> may have a slight problem with my lock, which we'll discuss later on in the video.
Oh, mate, um, I've just been told by YouTube, it's a bit of a secret, if you press the subscribe button, a pair of boobs will appear. Why would I make that up? Listen, press it and see what happens. It's, you're not going to lose anything, are you? Press the button. <sighs> told you. Hey, stop unpressing it. I'll be back next week with more funny, funny subscribe jokes. <laughs> you can set up fingerprints and cards on the device directly without the use of an app at all. Amongst a million other settings actually, including the ability to turn the Bluetooth functionality off, making this an entirely standalone lock. And this will hopefully put to rest some of the security concerns that I undoubtedly have in my comments section from people that think the burglars are Ocean's Eleven and that they're going to sit on your driveway hacking your smart lock instead of putting your windows through. But if you wanted to do any more than the basics, the software setup is the usual scan of a QR code with a simple security measure that it can't be bound to the app without the unique ID that is written on the barrel. To add your first administrator fingerprint, you do so directly on the device itself by holding the power button for five seconds to access the system config. Once your first administrator fingerprint is set, you have to use that fingerprint in order to make any further changes. This means a burglar can't just walk up to the device, put it into system config mode and start faffing around because he doesn't have your fingerprint. I watched another review of this thing and I think this guy said it best. Super fast. And it just works. It just works! It just works! The only real benefit to the app at this point is one, to look at logs, and two, to actually be able to remotely unlock the lock. You can only do this though when you are in Bluetooth range if you don't have their Wi-Fi gateway. Without the Wi-Fi gateway, it all works locally via a Bluetooth connection to your phone. If you have their gateway, not only will you be able to unlock this thing remotely from a different location, you'll also be able to use She That Should Not Be Named and Google Home to unlock it with your voice too. Oh my god, you could just shout through the letterbox and Alexa will just open the door, it's so stupid! Poor Hibbert is so stupid! Everything he does is so stupid! <laughs>told you it makes a good lightsaber. Don't at me in the comments about how you can get food in it, but I, every single video about a smart lock. You can't. It needs a pin number. You give it a pin number when you set it up and you have to speak the pin number. It's a bit more secure than just if you let but idiot. Idiots. Leave me alone. We lock have tested the hell out of this thing. It's waterproofed to IP44 as standard. It has a working temperature that's anything from minus 25 degrees all the way up to 60 degrees Celsius, which of course won't matter in the UK because, well, you know. Today's forecast is bland. There's some bland pushing in from the east, a little bit more bland pushing in from the west. Today's forecast overall for the country, bland. Tomorrow's forecast, however, Bland. It has electrostatic protection up to 30,000 volts, which I assume is some kind of security measure against the lockpicking lawyer. This is the lockpicking lawyer, and today I will be opening this Wii lock using only my pelvis. Um, I have a rare earth magnet. It's not the most powerful one on the market, but it is pretty strong. I have waved it around this thing and I can't even feel a mechanism pulling on it. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't even attach to the frame. So I don't think he would get it open with a rare earth magnet. Either way, I have to reiterate, burglars aren't Ocean's Eleven. They're not sitting around planning a heist sat atop a throne of rare earth magnets. They're a wanker in a van called Dave. And when he realizes that a hammer isn't going to get this thing open, he's just gonna put your windows through instead. There is very little to complain about here. There is a small hole where my lock used to be and perhaps you'll want to fill that in. Um, the only other thing is you have to press the button every single time if you want to then use your thumbprint or your fingerprint or whatever. Um, it's not on, which is to say battery, obviously, and you have to turn it on and then use your finger. It's not a biggie and you get used to it very quickly. And now, as always, for the elephant in the, the, elephant in the room. 
This lock is too big for my door frame, so it catches every single time unless I have rotated it so that the flat part of the lock is in line with the door frame. This means I can't keep it. Nisha won't let me. Um, the main problem here is not going to be an issue for you if, of course, you have a door handle which is a little bit further over away from the frame. On your screen right now is the measurements from my door lock to the frame so that you can make a decision because anything that is even slightly bigger than this by maybe a couple of millimeters will be fine, I promise. Mine only just has a problem. And finally, the Google skill, I can't find it. I can find an Amazon Alexa skill so that you'll be able to use that if you have got their gateway, but I can't find the equivalent for Google. I do, however, know for a fact that Google have been in talks with them and have got it working in their labs because I found an interview online between Google and Wheelock where they're chatting about it, and the lady from Google is quite clearly saying it works. I've asked Wheelock what the deal is here, and I shall let you know in the description as soon as I have an answer. I am gutted I can't personally use this on my door, because this is a beautiful looking lock with fantastic security. I can't recommend it enough if it will fit your door. Wheelock claimed to have tested it working 100,000 times in their lab, so if you used it five times a day, it would last 54 years. There is a two year free replacement warranty and they have both European and US warehouses. You can pay via PayPal and Google and if you're interested, as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this video would not be here, this channel would not be here, I would be working in a call center. I say it every week, but they're the best people on earth, and if you want to be one, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I would genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Instead of putting your windows through. Uh, uh, I've gone a bit too far with the sarcasm there, Paul. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what they made that thing out of, but clearly... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't have that problem, obviously. That's crap. <laughs> it's a bad acting, Paul. Try it again. <laughs>